Hey, this is Jerry Ann. I just want to thank you for hanging out with me for a few minutes. Today I want to talk to you about regret. Have you ever said to yourself, um, if I'd done this, or if I'd done that, or if I hadn't have done this? That's living in the what ifs. That's living in the what ifs of would have, could have, should have. That's regret. It's a place of disappointment and wishing you'd done something different. But God has so much better for you. He has an exciting life for you. He's forgiven you of your past. Jesus has washed away all your sin. If you've asked Him to forgive you for the mistakes that you've made in your life, then you don't have to live in regret. Each day is a new day. It's a new beginning. His mercies are new every morning. In fact, uh, Paul says in Philippians 3, 13 and 14, he says, this one thing I do, Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching for those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. He's saying to us to forget those things, to move on, get over it, move on with your life. Don't live in a life of regret. Look forward to what God has for you. The message translation says, I'm often running and I'm not turning back. And that's what I encourage you with today is just keep going forward, pressing forward, moving forward, looking for what God has in store for your life instead of going behind and looking back. You can never go anywhere in life when you're looking back. So I encourage you to move forward. I know I've wasted a lot of time in regret, wondering if I could have done something differently, what the results would have been. I know choices are everything in life, and a lot of us have made bad choices in life, but God doesn't expect us to live with those bad choices. That's why He's a God of forgiveness. He will forgive you, He will wash you, He will take those bad choices, those bad mistakes. He will cleanse you, forgive you of your sins, so that you can have a new life, so you don't have to live in regret with those decisions that you've made. Regret always wants you going backwards when God wants you moving forward. He has a plan and a purpose and a destiny for your life, and there's no place for regret in that purpose and destiny. So I encourage you today to forget the past, to move forward, and go where God wants you to be. It's not in the past, it's in your present. Thanks for joining me today.